We are here at the Kutztown Folk Festival 2013 on the 7th of July with Butch Imhoff, the founder of the Acoustic Roadshow and the mentor here at the Kutztown Folk Festival. One of the things that's interesting about Butch, aside from the fact that he's a great songwriter and great entertainer is, Butch, you spend the whole nine days of the festival here in the Acoustic Roadshow tent sharing your craft with people, which is part of what this festival is supposed to be all about. The artisans and crafters are supposed to teach people how to do it and mentor them. But yours is unique because your craft happens to be music. Tell us a little bit about how you handle this, because you get a diverse crowd in here, I'm sure. Well, we get uh, people of all ages. Uh, I got a um, actually a small baritone ukulele here. And when I get a youngster, even 18 months old, I can show them a couple easy chords on this, and they can learn how to strum and play along with the rest of us. And then I get folks that uh, had a woman in here last year that was 88 years old. She had never had the opportunity to play guitar before. And uh, she wanted to try it, so I showed her how to play the first chord. And then she had these long red fingernails. <laughs> and she said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go cut these off, and, and I think I'm going to go buy a guitar and learn how to play. And I said, ma'am, would you mind very much if I asked you how old you are? And she said, no, I'm 88 years old. So we get them all ages. Uh, from all kinds of backgrounds, and uh, the common denominator, of course, is people would like to see what it's like to play a guitar, hold one, uh, learn a few chords, and strum a little bit, and uh, that's what we do here. It's very basic, very simple. So even if you don't want to become a professional musician or anything, you just want to do it as a pastime, there's absolutely more people doing it that way. A guitar is a great instrument to pick up. It's so portable. Huh? Absolutely. As, as a lot of kids will come in and say, well, I'll, I'll play piano. And I tell them, that's nice, but these are a lot easier to carry than a piano. Yeah. Because uh, I've carried a few of those already. Yeah, me too. That's and, no uh, fun. <laughs> and those Hammond B3 organs, remember oh, those oh, days? <laughs> absolutely. Yep, you bet. So, well, uh, take us through, uh, you got a lot of different guitars here. You have Alvarez, you have nice guitars here that people can play and have an experience on. You have a, an assortment of Martin guitars made just up the road in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, considered by many to be among the world's absolutely finest instruments. Pick up one of your guitars and show us what you'd show us if we were coming in and we said, Butch, we don't know a, a single thing about the guitar. Right. Take us through a primary guitar lesson here at the Acoustic Roadshow 10 at the Kutztown Folk Festival. Sure. What I do, first of all, is a lot of folks don't do not know how to hold a guitar, so I hand it to them and they might sit there something like this. So I'll have them set it back against their body. I will uh, tell them to hug this guitar just like to hug their boyfriend or their girlfriend. And they usually giggle about that. And uh, what I do is I only use four strings to teach. We've got the blender going on over there. It's all right. I teach with four strings. I don't use the, the fifth and sixth. So I teach them to, I give them a pick. There's a pick. Mm -hmm. That's a keepsake that they can take with them at the end. Of oh, the let's get a close up of that. Acoustic Roadshow pick. Check it out. Nice. Yep. So we give everybody a pick to take home. We start with a, a strum, a basic strum, mm -hmm. and then I will literally put their finger on one string and have them play a G chord. With that, I will sing a verse of Old MacDonald, and while I'm singing, I'll tell them to stop while I play the other two chords in the song. And after uh, we go through the first verse of Old MacDonald, I will put two fingers on the guitar, just like that. Make a baby C, and after that, I will uh, sing another verse of Old MacDonald. And then the third time through, I will put their three fingers on a guitar, just like that, a D chord. I sing the third verse of Old MacDonald. And in the course of a few minutes, someone will have the opportunity to see this like the strum. Play a chord without the difficulty of switching back and forth. As you know, Dave, being a guitar player, that's the difficulty of playing a guitar. Mm -hmm. And then uh, by the time I get to the third chord, their fingers are say, uh, they're usually saying, hey, my fingers are starting to feel funny. So I ask to see their fingertips, and uh, when they see the grooves in their fingertips from the strings, I will tell them that now they are officially an official guitar player. And uh, that's, that's uh, like being a membership of a large uh, fellowship, if you will. And then uh, at the end of the guitar lesson, I have them uh, autograph. I have an autograph board over here to my right. 
and uh, I get everybody's autograph that comes through here. So those look like here, they're hanging around the tent? Yep, and starting from your left there, I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way around. Each oh, day represents uh, the folks who are in here. I see. All right, well, take us through it now. We've learned our primary stuff. Give us a little bit of that old All McDonald. Right. Well, here's what I do. Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. That's his report. Mm -hmm. And on his farm, he had a cow. E-I-E-I-O. With a moo-moo here, a moo-moo there. Here a moo, there a quack. Everywhere a quack, quack. <laughs> old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Now you might That's have been quacking instead of mooing. Yeah, why is that? And just the other day, well, I like to have fun with the youngsters, of course. And the other day I had a five-year-old sitting here in a chair, and I was going moo-moo here, moo-moo there. And the next thing she said, uh, I started quacking, and she stopped playing. And she looked right up at me, and she said, you're odd. <laughs> and her, her, her mom stood in the back of the tent and got all red-faced, and I said, Mom, it's okay. I love uh, working with kids especially because of their honesty. They just say what's on their mind and, and what, what they perceive is the right thing to say. So uh, I get a lot of kids in here and uh, as always, they're always always different, always fun. And uh, this week we've had youngsters from, well, we have have had families from Romania, from uh, France, from Colombia, Bolivia, and uh, Scotland. Oh, that's exciting. And uh, plus a lot of the states throughout the United States. And, and uh, the, the neatest thing about this whole event is uh, uh, meeting new people from all over the world. That's for sure. And sharing the joy of music. I'm sure you see their eyes light up. And folks, he's not odd. He's unique. <laughs> he's Butch Imhoff. One last question, Butch. Yes. How long have you been growing this beard right here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was in the Army between 72 and 74. Uh-huh. And I haven't... I only shaved for, for six months since then uh, for a job, and then that job got uh, well, I got eliminated, and I, I, I was it. So it's probably since the 70s. Okay. Well, you know what? It, just take your fingers and run it through your beard there, because I tell you, I swear, you bring so much happiness to people. I'm guessing there's some bluebirds living in there somewhere, right? I don't know about that. <laughs> the bluebird of happiness. But I do tell these youngsters um, that I initially tried to start playing a fiddle. And what happened was when I put my beard up on top of that fiddle like that, and I started playing, I started sawing off the end of my, my beard, so I stopped playing the fiddle. Yeah, that's a hard way to trim a beard. Yeah. But Jim Hoff, thanks for all you do at the Kutztown Folk Festival. Dave, thank, thank you, buddy. Dave, thank you for everything that you do. You're I welcome, appreciate man. This. Pre pleasure. God bless. This is Dave Klein for Reading Eagle Company, WEEU Radio, Burke's Country Magazine, the Mountain Folklore Column, the Mountain Folk Show, and the Kutztown Folk Festival Network with Butch Imhoff at the Acoustic Road Show. Learn how to play music in a guitar tent at the Kutztown Folk Festival 2013. Butch does a fantastic job. First of all, he's got a, a, a plethora of guitars wrapped around him here. Butch, tell us a little bit about some of the guitars these people are coming in and getting to learn on. They are certainly a cut above the average dime store guitar. All right, Dave. Well, I have a uh, Martin guitar here. It's called a Triple O Auditorium, which is a, like a mid-sized guitar, which fits. Uh, a lot of folks play blues and jazz and, and uh, well, anyway, they play different styles of music on it. It's a smaller body guitar, and I, I'd use that for uh, medium-sized people. Then I have a DM, which is a uh, Dreadnought a Mahogany Top full-size guitar, where uh, the big folks that come in, the big boys and the adults and what have you, we hand them that guitar. I have a small ukulele, which I uh, baritone, that I salvaged from uh, the dumpster, uh, and I use that for the uh, anywhere from 18 months on up to uh, two, three, and four-year-olds uh, when, when they have a smaller body. I have two small Martin guitars, which they actually call those Little Martins. They're an LXM, which are a nice uh, student guitar. However, uh, the adults have been buying them and throwing them in the trunk of their car and playing them on break at work and things of that nature. And then we have a, a medium-sized Alvarez guitar here, uh, which is a uh, gloss-finished all the uh, Martins are like a satin finish. The, um, the Alvarez is a nice gloss finish. And uh, some of the students really like that, especially the teenagers uh, are attracted to the shininess of the guitar itself.
Mm -hmm. And the idea is that people are walking down the midway and anybody can come in when you're opening up a session and they can come in and this is all free. This is no extra charge. You'll teach them how to play a little bit of music and I'll bet, have you ever seen any lights go off in people? You know, can you tell that they're getting it or that it's really a, an exciting moment for them? Uh, yeah, there's uh, when I do the old McDonald, I, I teach them a, a G, a C, and a D chord. And uh, ironically, the, well, first of all, the kids think I'm a little wacky, an old guy sitting here teaching them how to play old McDonald. But I show them if they play those three gu guitar chords in the reverse order, the D, the C, then the G, they're actually playing the three chords used in Sweet Home Alabama. I start singing it, and then the, uh, their eyes light up, and they're looking around for a parent to say, Hey, Mom or Dad, I want a guitar for my birthday. And I've had uh, probably uh, dozens of people actually come in here year after year and show me what they've learned over the year, how many chords, and they'll say, Hey, watch me play. And uh, they're playing all different kinds of chords. So it's exciting to watch them grow musically. The thing about this festival also is that it is a demonstration festival where the artisans and the crafters and the musicians or stuff are supposed to share and show people and explain if people have questions and you certainly do that all nine days of the festival and the other thing is that it's mostly local folks here it really is especially the uh, folks like yourself the musicians I know are al almost all local and you uh, come from Muhlenberg Township uh, and um, if you want to tell us specifically where in Muhlenberg Township like what particular zone like uh, Temple or Sure Dave I live up on Mount Laurel Road in Temple um, I live up uh, in an area that uh, years ago was known as Shanty Town because they were pretty much, uh, that's what they were, shanties. And uh, that's where I grew up. I still live there. I lived in Missouri and I lived in Delaware for a while. But uh, that's my home up on Mount Laurel and, uh, and uh, it's a great place to, to grow up and be a kid. Yeah, that's like the hillbilly country Muhlenberg Township up there. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Uh, we, uh, we had to make our own toys and our, and our own games and... Uh, and uh, learned how to, uh, to uh, survive up there in the woods because uh, that's pretty much where we live. We, uh, more than once, we shot our own game and cooked our own dinners. So uh, that's a great place in the world. One last question for you, Butch. You've been entertaining people for a long, long time and pulling people together through the Fellowship of Music. Whatever got you started? When did your light bulb go off, do you remember, and uh, for what reason? Well, this, the short story is this. When I started out as a young person, I started in all them old rotten bar rooms and got uh, developed a bunch of bad habits, the drinking and the drugs. And um, I am now in my 30th year of sobriety from drugs and alcohol. And the thing I want to pass along to young people is stay out of the bar rooms. You don't need to go in there and perform. There's no future there. I mean, there's some nice places where you can have a beer or a glass of wine or what have you. But if you really want to play the music, play it for the love of the music. And uh, you don't need to get all souped up on drugs and alcohol to play musical instruments or sing. That's just a, a big myth that uh, has been passed down through the years. So uh, play it for the love of the music. Definitely a worthy message from a fine ambassador for the great passion and pastime known as playing music. Butch, I have to tell you, we're proud of you. Keep up the fine work you're doing here. And for you, I can see music was a path to redemption, and uh, you're now spreading the light and sharing the joy. Thanks, Butch. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dave, for, uh, for this opportunity to, uh, to uh, pass along what we do. And uh, if you're sitting around and you're goofing off at, at home and you have nothing to do, go get yourself a musical instrument. And, and maybe it won't wind up in the stage or the TV or something, but you're going to have a, a lot of enjoyment out of it. So... Uh, um, I thank uh, I want to thank WEU Reading Eagle and uh, Dave Klein Eastside Dave Klein for uh, everything that you do, Dave. Thank you so much. Thank you, Butch.